we can do this. Just add this, maybe the flyer axe, and then maybe the flyer looks like that. Let's see. Add four. No, 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 we can do this. Just add this, maybe the flyer axe, and then maybe the flyer looks like that. Thank you. Color. We did it, guys. That looks good. Yeah, that's definitely gonna look good on the socials. Okay, whoo! That was a close one. Hey, Derek. First time agent, long time listener, question for you. How do you make your socials look so good? Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, I saw you talking about personal branding on the Simply Home podcast and thought I would ask about what tools or tool you use and how you use it to make your socials look good. Ben, Benjamin Heinemann. Bah. Yeah. Hey, Ben, here's the thing. Uh, you don't really need any of this stuff to make it look good, right? All these computers and things, that's when you get really technical. No, I'm kidding, you really don't need it at all. All you need is this little guy right here, your cell phone. Come on, let's go talk about it over here. What you wanna do is pick what you want the design to go through. So right now, what I wanna do is show you how I dress up my listing photos. So you wanna to go to social media, pick which social you wanna to post to. I post to Instagram and I auto populate to Facebook. And reason being is because Instagram uh, uses the square picture versus Facebook uses square, rectangular, it doesn't matter. So it might change your photo a little bit if you put everything on Facebook first. You can either do one of two things here. You can scroll through, find a design you like, which you wanna pick your specific brand anyway you need to find your style. So you click style and you can literally go through and pick exactly what you want. Do you want it to be elegant, simple, modern, etc.? I normally do modern, it's one of my favorites. So I apply that and it'll pull up multiple different modern options. When you go through these options, let's just say we pick for our listing presentation. I just wanna do a photo and I want something specific on that photo. So I go to that, as soon as you click that edit, you're gonna add in your logo. So it's crucial that any logo you have currently, so if it's a logo uh, that was created by you, Fiverr, or any of the other uh, millions of people that can create logos, whatever your logo is, make sure you have your PNG file specifically. Put in all the different file types, whether it's just the logo itself, the logo with your name, all of the things that you have when it comes to your logos. Put it in an actual logo folder just like this. All mine are right here. After you get done with that, you're gonna go down here and you're gonna place that logo where you want. You're gonna expand it, you're gonna retract it. As soon as you get this in place and where you want it to be, you got it. Put in your name, your info, whatever you want, but you want people to be able to see that it's you, not only by your logo, but also how in the world can I contact this person? Not everybody looks at your Instagram post and says, ooh, I think I'm gonna go through and find this entire, I'm gonna read through this entire post and decide like, that's what I wanna do is call that guy. So after you do your contact info and you put that in, put it where you want it to go, I've got this, you add in little design tweaks here or there. Here's where I'll put my coming soon. After I've put my coming soon in, I'll go ahead and I'll save this, this photo. And now you can save it as an actual project. Once you save it as a project, uh, it'll allow you to go back and edit that. So if you just wanna change, I always create just templates. That's what I call them. I'm not sure that's what it's called on here, but you create your own templates, which are your projects. So once you go back to that project, you can see here, you literally are able to just put that photo specifically, change it out. Everything else can stay exactly the same. Uh, while you're in here, you can actually duplicate the, the file itself. So if you want it to be, let's say you want this to say in contract instead of coming soon. Well, boom, now you've got coming soon. You just change those verbiage, you're done. And now you've got your listing. Your listing is gonna look awesome and everybody's gonna wanna buy your house. Let's just say you wanna create an open house flyer. So I've got one here that I'll go through with you. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, 
So you want to you want to create an open house flyer. Again, you can go find your template. You can see what you want to put in. Uh, you can change out the photos. You can do all kinds of different things. Uh, you definitely want it to be on brand. So you want to keep your logo. You want to keep whatever your style is. Mine's like a modern sleek. Um, and then it also has like the, the font. You want your font to be the same. You want color scheme to be the same. So that all has to do with your brand. And when you're going through to create this open house flyer, make sure you have enough in your open house, but when you do it and how you do it, you can move these boxes around. You can go in and you can re-edit the paragraph that it describes the description of the home. You can uh, change the address, change what it says as far as your open house, change the photos, add extra photos if you want. Here's how you add the extra photos. You might want to put in like a 615, 496, blah, 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 trainer.homes. And now you've got a sleek little thing on the bottom. But when you're creating these, again, you want to find a template that matches your brand. And you've got to stay on brand. Even with the photos itself, as you can see from this one right here, this photo is very much on brand. We have that, um, that very light gold color but you've got this that you can use as far as the color that's for us that's our accent color then we have the grays and the blacks and the whites and it's it just all accents each other very very nicely so when you are picking this out just make sure to stay on brand this is one of my favorite things to do like man i didn't even know they had certain things on here but i mean Look, real estate flyer right there. You can do an event flyer. So since we're doing an event flyer, you can go search different event flyers. And, and here's the cool thing about this. Everything on Canva is editable. Colors can change and the width of the, the lines can change, the font can change. That's why I like Canva so much. It's completely customizable to you. So if you do, you tap into that creative side of your brain and you, you look at, okay, from this here, I can create this. So let me just click this one for instance. Uh, this has nothing to do with real estate. It has nothing to do with my brand specifically, but let's just imagine this looks very similar to my brand. Let's just say that it does. Well, <clears throat> if I wanna come in here and I wanna change this here from this logo to my logo, click this, you'll click place. And as soon as you replace it, you're gonna replace it with your specific logo. If you don't wanna do that, you can delete it. You can click the plus button and that'll bring you back over. You can slide all the way over to logos and boom, you've got all your logos right here. And as soon as you get to your logo, you tap it and say, that's what I wanna add. It'll automatically add it to the page. And Canva helps with lining things up too. So if you want to line up your, your logo to be on this top right left corner, but you don't want it to be out of frame or look a little different or look a little weird or odd, you can always put it up at the top. So let's just change the font. Let's change it to, this is more modern. Let's say now, boom. Now you've got a modern looking title to your flyer. If you want this to be uh, a different color, let's say this shade right now is gray. Let's say I want that color to be red. Change all. You can change the entire theme to be a different color. So your photos, you literally click replace, boom, you go upload your photo, and boom, you've got your photo all set. When you're creating this flyer, and this is how I would create mine, is I'd put my logo here, right at the top, I like that. I like that, let's say, I wanna add ice cream. We did just did an ice cream social. So let's say I wanna add something here, and I want to add ice cream. You can go to elements, and instead of literally scrolling through here looking for ice cream, which will take you hours, just literally get a search, ice cream. Once you search ice cream, boom, you have so many different graphics to use for ice cream. What's even better with Canvas specifically is instead of it being all, you can go specifically to graphics. You can go to different things, but let's say that's what you wanna use. You can turn it around you can make it a different color. You can expand it, you can shrink it, and boom, I want that ice cream to be right here. Now people can visually see, oh, this is an ice cream, even without even reading the flyer. They can see this is an ice cream event. Okay, so say I wanna now add movies. So you also wanna go back to your plus sign, you wanna get out of the ice cream, 
You literally want to search movie. Well, you've got a lot to choose from, and you want this to be a part of the theme as well. So, I mean, if you've got a pretty big graphic to use for the ice cream, and it's more of like a, like a cartoon graphic, you might want to do a cartoon graphic for your movie too, like this right here, boom. Now you got your movie cartoon graphic. Click that, you can expand it, contract it, you can move it around like this. Let's say we just move it like that, and we move it right here. It's not out of frame, boom. Now you know that my movie and ice cream event is coming X day. That is interesting. Hey guys, we are over here at the Fountains at Gateway. Uh, as you can see behind me, we're, this is one of my favorite places to be. We actually hold some of our client appreciation events here. Uh, so if you haven't been to one, you should come to one. Actually, if you wanna check out that client appreciation video, you should go back and look at it on our YouTube channel. It's awesome. Just search my name. I just wanted to sit down and tell you, I hope you got something out of this. I hope you learned some tips and tricks on how to use Canva specifically to help launch your business or to help your rebranding or to help your current branding. Uh, just some tips and tricks on how to actually uh, use Canva to explode your real estate business and make it look phenomenal. So I'll tell you what, if you use the tricks that I use today, I promise you it's gonna help you and it's gonna explode your business. Can't wait to see you on the next one. Thanks for joining guys. We'll see you soon.